So what we've got to begin to do is only embrace those things that's for our highest good. That no one has the right to determine or has the knowledge to say how long we're going to be here. And that we can choose to surrender or we can choose to take a stand and fight. And there are a lot of people who fight who are still here. There are people who fight and who go. But at least they go out fighting. They didn't just surrender. They didn't just throw in the towel on themselves. And I'm saying that, that there is something in us. There's a power and an energy that's in us. That we owe it to ourselves to take on anything. Disease in the body, poverty, opposition, whatever is between that and which we desire. And, and we feel that will give us a full and rich life, we should fight for it. Assistance from strangers comes to you and you say, whoa. You begin to discover things showing up that you need that you didn't even know you needed them. And here they are right here at your disposal when you get to that new level of consciousness. That they not wimp out or not fold or collapse not surrender. What is it about a human being? I'm saying that the human spirit is, is so enormously powerful beyond our wildest imagination that one, one entity could bring a government to its knees or begin to dismantle an unjust form of government. Maybe it was time for you to move on. Somebody sent me a plaque today that one day that said, uh, don't worry about the people that God has removed from your life. He saw things you didn't see. He heard conversations you couldn't hear. And he saw he made moves you wouldn't. It's really, you have to live your life in expectation of wonderful things happening. God is a merciful God. He didn't bring you this far to leave you. He didn't set you up to fail. You're tripping. You're tripping, man. He only wants to progress his children. That's all he want to do. Even if you're wrong, he forgives us. Just keep moving. How bad do you want what God has put in your heart? Bad enough to outlast the opposition? Bad enough to overlook some insults? Bad enough to do the right thing when the wrong thing is happening? Do you want it bad enough to keep pursuing even when circumstances say it's not going to happen? Many of the difficulties we face the delays, the times it's not fair, that's simply a test. God is seeing how bad do you want it. This is what weeds people out. If you're overcome by problems, you let circumstances push you down, people talk you out of it, you're not going to have the strength or the courage to sustain where God is taking you. Are you letting people talk you out of what God put in your heart? You can't get well. You saw the report. You'll never get out of debt. You've reached your limits. You can't start that business. You won't accomplish your dreams. You have too much opposition. Do like him. Let that go in one ear and out the other. Ignore what they're saying. They don't determine your destiny. God does. Particularly painful is discouragement in the life of the believer. Because as we travel from season to season, it is not just the perils that we face, but it is seeing the wicked go forward. <laughs> While the righteous are held back. I don't know if I don't know if you've ever thought like that, but sometimes I, I see people succeeding who didn't pray nearly as hard work nearly as long have not been faithful at all and it seems like they seemingly have moments of victory placed in close proximity so I could see it their victories are flaunted in my face not while I am having a similar experience but while all hell has broken loose in my life and I am going through agony and tragedy, seemingly they are having victory and triumph. And if you are not careful, the very sight of their prosperity 